So, hello everybody, what's new in the whole universe? I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings to through my own experiences. And today we're gonna talk about world building. You know what is a world building, maybe? It is creating your own universe, your own world. And it could be a location, maybe it could be the body of a person. It is the world too. We can consider as world absolutely everything. As piano too, you can create your world in side of piano like it will be electrons that are going flowing from side to side and going and uh, running away and running to and running off and running different types of directions also you can consider your body like your neurons inside of you maybe inside of you you, you have blood cells red blood cells uh, white blood cells or maybe brown b blood cells or something else you can consider as a world it is this headphones, it is one more world. But if we will talk about world that mostly in our real world, we consider that uh, the world is something not only like one thing. It is kind of should be big. It should be the, the planet at least that looks like a real world. We like to consider this way. Like maybe it will be planet, maybe multi multi planet tell thing or maybe it at least uh, should be the the plate that our planet uh, right now it is not like a spherical but the plate and uh, or maybe donut donut like planet or something like should be big and uh, there we should be cities there should be also maybe municipalities or crooks or crooks means the placements locations and should be maybe specific caverns caves cages cage like inside of the zoo parks and uh, something like this why do i record this video i don't know why i i i know why for me for me for me for me right now uh -huh. uh, for me why i record because uh, when i talk about this stuff then i one moment when i talk about this stuff then i create inside of my mind some connections and associations around this talk that I do, like uh, when we speak about something, when we try to explain to someone thing, uh, to when we try to explain things to someone, then we improve it inside of our memory. It is how our memory works, it is how our connections and neurons work. When we talk about something, then we improve it. That's why I highly recommend to not excuse in your life, like, uh, not excuse me and uh, something like this, but uh, creating excuses like, oh, I, I don't want to do this. Yes, maybe it is nice to uh, create excuses if you want to write a book about excuses and to make a living from excuses, but mostly in our life it is not not really productive in a capitalistic way in mean in many of earning money yes in this world or maybe earning respect from someone if you want to earn it but uh, sometimes we don't earn the respect we kind of uh, we can respect to people I uh, inside of me I uh, respect to uh, I respect everybody and uh, don't need to earn my respect to do things I respect you as you are as you have as you have these things and and this video is created only to cr create kind of inside of my mind connections around the world building next for you what will you get from this video i think that maybe it will be kind of inspirational to you to listen about these things and maybe you will create your own worlds if you want to create your own universe planets maybe plants plants world yes and it will be world of plants and uh, then it will be kind of inspiration plus maybe pl ideas that you maybe want to consider with and uh, you will be like a uh, Pablo Picasso with uh, using my ideas yes and uh, applying them for your own stuff in some variations like you will adapt it uh, not fully because it w will not feel for you like you fully they did it by your own but you can take it and do analogy of it in your version 
like you will take it uh, from different angles, prismic and things, okay? Because sometimes when I create my own world, I, I want to say, I try to do this fully, extremely original. Yes, I try to, do, to make it really ma maximum originality and only from my head. But I understand that uh, some ideas maybe will be... I, I even, even, I don't want to take uh, somebody else's uh, ideas, but inside of my mind, my mind is working this way like, oh, I've seen it before, I remember I was doing basketball playing, and right now I have a sensation with basketball, and uh, it is kind of a sensation with it. We always uh, take some ideas from some things that was happening to us, and I try to use ideas from my own experiences. That's why this channel is called, uh, like when I say in the beginning, I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences. I try to use my I try to create my experience and then grow it and make an ecosystem of my own experience and then use my own experience as the crossover for the next content for the next things you understand it like you created your own experiences and then you can ex use then you can use not excuse you can use your experience in the future experiences like it is meta content when you w i right now can watch my previous video and it will be meta content because i will not use anything like from outside yes i will use outside of content because of uh, i will use previous content that is inside of it have a recursion of the watching me somebody else's content also but if i will look at myself then i kind of original if we will look in one step iteration one step iteration it is when i look at myself and uh, not like look at myself that i watch this uh, previous uh, part of iteration that i was watching the somebody else's content okay it is kind of so super smart talk and uh, okay world building what should we consider when we do world building names names really our world is created by names and names are languages and languages are everything sometimes and uh, imagine you are creating your world if you want to create it then you should name it some somehow yes you should create the name for your world you should create also character inside of your world that has 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 names or maybe the race that has a name and also you can create language for them and language is having a word as a rl language for example in my own universe i have rl language and rl of ancient and molran language and also golivar gora lips language and shadow shadow uh, sh mirror shadows uh, things and also i have language of uh, heavens i have language of darkness i have language of main wo world and i have uh, language of rl city and also galivar city uh, worlds it is like a world of three worlds and even five worlds yes RL, Galivar, I have, also I have uh, Heavens, I have Darkness, and I have Main World. And uh, <laughs> you right now maybe kind of, what the hell is going on, Igor? What are you speaking about? It's so, I, I don't understand to your talk. But uh, yes, thanks so much for the supporting, by the way. One, uh, or maybe even not only one, but many who wrote uh, to me messages, I want to read them, by the way. I will open to pay respect to all people who commented my videos. Thank you a lot for Sean Kelly. Also one girl, one girl from... I think that she's from... I, sh I think that she's from Japan, maybe. GP, thank you. Jack, thank you. Sigma Walker, Jack... Uh, C lamp, thank you. Yasmin M N, yes, thank you. Japanese, I think that it is from Japan. If you are from J Japan, then hello. If you are not, then hello too. I so appreciate it. Paula Barrientos, and also one more. Ashley, Ashley Megan, thank you a lot. And also one more viewer. I remember it. I remember Marmele, also M Marmele, thank you. Also Moshu Pologo, Katlego, Vicky, thank you. And one more, Ryan, 
and uh, people who was commenting thank you a lot really i want to find one comment sterling must thank you thank you for everybody one girl with with uh, a pink color pink color nickname and i can't find it maybe i deleted it like i i don't know i remember these comments uh, this girl or I think that girl, yes, you know, you thank you, thank you for all whole Russian community to commenting videos. Tom Johnston, Tom Joel Vega, thank you for everybody, thank you a lot, and uh, I appreciate it. Also, Sergey Ignatiev, who is uh, Russian man, thank you a lot for everybody. And uh, one moment, maybe I will find it. No idea, I don't see it. Guitar, thank you. And uh, okay, worlds. We have names. As your nicknames, you have names, you have your real name. And I think that name is kind of uh, super important in a way of not like a, having a name, but call it some somehow. Like you need, uh, you need a process, concept, concept, yes. For example, doing things every day, doing things repeatedly. It will be iteration, or routine, or maybe it will be a repetitive work, or dull work, some can call it, or grind, or farming, in a mini of farming from World of Warcraft, or from different names. It is uh, how we call it, it is all semantics, I think that. We have semantics, some concepts inside of our mind, how we understand it, meanings, and also we have name for this meaning. It is super super understandable in the meaning of uh, in the meaning of programming and in the meaning of uh, also what we have programming and also we have uh, one moment programming and math math mathematics and uh, in mathematics you have for example variables yes variable x variable y and this y is equaling I equals to the number, number four, number three, two, one, or maybe four with, uh, we have four with uh, our hands showing to you and hands uh, showing to me, like face to, face to me. And uh, it is two different fours we can consider if we have created uh, the system that we have different fours, four for this and four for that. Yes, and... Uh, it is all about programming and uh, names are important to to make it easier to explain. Like you have concept and you name it somewhere, somehow, okay? Somewhere, somehow. And also we have uh, names, okay, we said about that. Also we have uh, locations. Okay, let's go to real world right now. I will talk about real stuff. And uh, we have locations, we have characters, we have also connections between characters, a relationship between them. How do they communicate to each other? They love each other, they hate each other, they maybe love but not fully, super strongly sincere each other, they have more connection during the time, they have connection less time, like uh, what time they invest daily in their system, like to each other, maybe they invest uh, to each other talk only one percentage, one percent of their daily life, or maybe they invest to talking to each other 20% of their daily communication, and it means a lot to their associations inside of their mind, if you created them with a mind like we think about it, like they have mind, brains, like people have in your own, uh, like they think the way how people think. Yes, you can create also how they think, maybe they th will think in a way of uh, like animals, or maybe you can create them with uh, programmed how they think, and they, they do only maybe three movements and they react, and uh, they do this uh, in a way of machines and so cars and uh, a robotics uh, way. So, you can create uh, names and descriptions. You can create also, I don't know, in Russia we call it ushelia, pishere. It means uh, caverns, caves, sanctuaries. 
you can create, uh, for example, castles, moving castles. By the way, it's the idea that I created uh, moving castles. Gods that, that you have in your own story that you speak one god or maybe gods or maybe altar. I don't know. Alta Alt altar in Russian language, it is the place, sanctuary place. One moment I will translate it. Maybe we will have it in English. I think that it is al altar to altar. How it's called? Alta. Alta. Sanctuary, Lord's Stable. You can create it. Also, you can do, for example, books. Will your universe have books who have written it? Will they have languages? How many languages? And uh, who is communicating these languages? Elves and orcs. Do they have common language that they speak? Or they have different languages and they have translators of these languages. Do they have some words that were taken from other languages, like heritated, heritated words? For example, pilmini. In the Russian language, it is uh, do donuts, I think so. But you can call it pilmini also in the English language. Pilmini. Dumplings. Dumpling. And also? Pelmeni. Pelmeni. Pelmeni is how you speak it in English. In in Russian you call you call, you call it pelmeni. It is the the one moment how we call it again. M dumplings, meat dumplings. 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 And d will you have something heritated words in their languages or not? Do you have grammar rules or not? Do you have uh, maybe? Mathematics, how they count things and how they think. It is all logic of your universe. It is programming, I want to say. That writing your own book, it is more like programming. You program your thing, how they react. And if logic is correct, then everything is going well. And sometimes logic can be broken because of... Expect uh, how to say it? Expectate? Uh, no. Expectation, uh, I mean, exceptions. Exceptions could be. An exception, it is nothing as one more extra rule that ha we have in this current situation. And exceptions, they are kind of things that sometimes... Yes, I think that it is rules too. Exceptions are rules. Really. Exception, it is one more rule that is not working. I mean that we have main rule and we have also exception. Exception, it is one more rule inside of the rule. Yes, we have exception. We have rules. Yes, yes. An exception, it is one more rule that is affecting main rule. You understand it? Like, uh, for example, er. No, no, no. Verbs, verbs, verbs in English you have. And you speak it in your ho in your way, like verbs, uh, nice, uh, nice speaking. And uh, you said word, for example, how how much? Uh, one moment, I will think about it. Done, done. It is uh, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. It is exceptions. But also we have words, for example, ruin, ruined. Yes, ruin, ruin. Uh, b break something, yes? We have break, broke, broken. And we have also the main rule for whole a lot of verbs in English language that it is ruin, ruined for uh, different types of past tenses. But irregular verbs, they are d break, broke, broken or d do, did, done, yes? And it is kind of we have main rule for whole verbs and irregular verbs. It is something like exception for it. So, thank you a lot for communicating with me. It was super interesting. Now we learn more. Now we are going forward. We know more words. It's amazing. And we can continue our talking and creating new things. So what have we learned today? That uh, you should start from creating like words and descriptions for your concepts. You can draw anything and then I imagine that it is, it is kind of 
many things. I think that it's more creative thing and you should have a good creativity inside of your mind. If you have it, then it will be nice. Imagination, I mean. But uh, you don't need a an imagination to consider all these things. Like, you need it, but, but sometimes you don't need it. Like, uh, it is all experience. Imagination is an experience. I, I think so. It's my opinion. Like, you can always train it. And you will train it by creating your own things. The more you create by your own, the more you have creativity inside of your mind and the more imaginative you are. I don't know how it works, maybe it is not the real thing, because if we are created by someone in our universe, that it is, yes, maybe, yes, we have it, I think so, maybe it is the main programmer who created our, us uh, in Matrix, maybe Allah, or maybe it will be God, Jesus Christ, or different types of religions, I believe that they are having, but I consider more that God is everywhere, uh, God is everything and to everything is God. And uh, if so, then uh, maybe they created me smart and genius and you are, uh, you are not genius. But I prefer looking at this world that I am a genius and you are the genius too. Everybody in this world is a genius. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Improve Saldari, go forward to your dreams. You know that everything in your life depends only on you. Go forward and uh, it was Igor, Russian man who brings value to my own experiences. Bye bye, be cool, Improve Saldari. Bye. And world build interweb.